chance. <laughs> um, so to the draft here, I can't hear you, Bacon. <laughs> Lance picked up for Gangstars. Did this as a go-to pick oh, for them for sure? Okay, hello. Okay, this is the, the, the uh, TSM have the burst comp that we saw before. Yep. Weapon Vox, the Koshka, they can uh, highly mobile. That's what you want to pair with the Flicker here. Yeah, I really like Flicker with a Koshka. That's what we saw when we had the Flicker come out yesterday. It was with the Koshka. They were able to just dominate the early game up against what could be the Lyra in the lane. I feel like maybe Gangstars you know, kind of rethink this last pick, maybe take someone else up into the lane instead. They can't exactly block the Yummy Catnip Frenzy if the Koshka is invisible. I mean, you can, you just kind of have to get lucky. Yeah. Well, it would be very lucky. <laughs> that's, that's pretty <laughs> difficult to do. Can't block it if you don't buy a reflex. That's also true. <laughs> that's my strategy. You yeah, can't I miss the block if you don't have a reflex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gangstars, we got a last pick potential here. All the bonus time available. They can really think about what they want to go for. Is Gwen a good option here? Skedaddle to get out of Yummy Cat and Frenzy. The reveal on the buckshot to show everyone when they go into the Flicker Ultimate. I think the reveal from Gwen on the Buckshot is actually super useful. I then, don't know if that's enough to... But then, that, are you talking, are you talking Captain Lyra Jungle Lance? Yeah. Why and, not? And uh, a CP Gwen coming in? Not as strong as she once was. Yeah. That's true. Not, but it, it's not something that you couldn't here. do. They've I mean, already shown they're willing to go double weapon. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, no, no. I mean, you could theoretically also do the Captain Lyra with like the Lance going a little bit of crystal damage. I think because if he's, if he's building crystal, it's more for his disable factor. Exactly. Well, that, that's what I'm, I meant. Crystal path, not the crystal damage, because he doesn't get extra damage from the crystal, but he gets a lot Their of own. utility instead. They're gonna hope to spot their opponents out by just dropping some mortars on their head. Could work. Good luck, have fun. I feel like Baron is really going to struggle early. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, game number two, my name is Jaws, joined by the wonderful Excoundrel, and we are in already onto the fold. Well, I mean, Gangstars do have Wrecked on his Lyra. This is something that is unanimously thought of as a bad, you know, hero to give away to a guy that is so gifted with it. But, you know, like I said, there's a super aggressive draft you have to say coming out from tsm and it's a, a, you know, the one way that you shut down a baron is by putting loads of pressure onto him early and a, a akoshka can do that and b a flicker can do that and it looks like flicker is already in position to start making stuff happen but gangstars seem to realize this and are kind of on board oh they are on board but rex is going really low he gets oh, Von C. But Von C. oh my goodness almost went down Von C, you're going to have to be a little bit more careful next time. That was so close. And Gangstars, you weren't wrong. They were so prepared for that dive. I think this is the kind of being aware. I think TSM have definitely telegraphed kind of what they're expecting to do to this Baron with the Koshka and the Flicker. So Gangstars, I think, are going to be in a position to try and do that. Rex is very low. Flash X already coming in here. <sighs> they're going on him yet again. Yeah, he has got the healing. And Araki Zoro was in a fairly aggressive position. So... TSM, they're going to have to back off, but putting the pressure down early is exactly what they did. Yeah, but you've got to do that against the Baron. That's kind of what is expected when you're going up against the Baron. Pressure him early so he can't farm to the late game. It's the one way that you deal with him, and, and Koshka is an excellent hero to do that, as is Flicker. Uh, but Flicker, realistically, her role, is, or his role is to, to be aggressive in the early game, to get these lane ganks off, to be a, an absolute nuisance. And you combine that with Von C, you've got a lot of burst damage coming through as well. Definitely, there's going to be a Raki Zoro on the ropes for the majority of this early game. This is Xenotech trying to get a Githian wall on the invisible Flash X, but Flash X was uh, nowhere nearby. So well, yeah, it's the best way to one. approach it. I mean, other than That's having true. a scout trap there. Let's check on A, gets jumped on, Impale does land. However, Flash X is going to be there for safety as well. And yeah, I can imagine they're just going to itemize heavily towards just making sure they know where Von C is, they know where Flash X is, so they can just keep Araki Zoro safe. And speaking of itemization, it's, it's going to be a contraption at some point here for... Uh, oh, actually, Araki Zoro has to be careful. Oh, he does have to be very careful. Does jump jet away. However, Flash X still on the pursuit. Wrecked. Going fairly low. Flash X taking a tower hit. Uh, turret hit, even. Yeah, did it again. Strike two. TSM going very aggressive, but yet again, just uh, the ability to just get out of sticky situations is kind of like respect. <laughs> oh, cheeky Von C. Two levels up now onto Xenotech. 
And Xenotech on this Lance jungle is just not having a nice time versus this aggressive play coming out from Von C. Oof. Really, really aggressive. But you need to be aggressive. We talked about it. This composition is designed to be aggressive. And you can see the flare guns come out from Wrecked right now. He knows exactly where he's going, even potentially before his fountain, going straight for the contraption, knowing that the fountain actually isn't as necessary because they don't want to fight. So if they can avoid the fights as best as possible and wait until fountain comes out as second item, it's kind of playing to their game plan anyway. But the contraption, that is, uh, that is exactly what you need against this flicker. Oh, man. Like, the itemization part is just so... Well, you could say it's just really good here from Wrecked. I mean, as soon as you get that vision down, you can see him popping a flare every few hey. seconds. And there you go. It's up there. Contraption's, Contraption's already done. Here comes yep. the endless scout traps across the entirety of the map. <laughs> Flicker's worst that's, nightmare. That's Literally so scout annoying. traps for days. Scout traps for days. My good. This, it's going to be uh, just entirely filled with red little dots, isn't it? That's what yeah. the map's going to become. Very much so, but the one problem you will have for gangsters right now is without a fountain, you are susceptible to engages coming out from uh, TSM. So you have to be making sure that if you're using that contraption to its full capability, you're keeping tabs on where Flash X is at all times to make sure you aren't getting engaged on. Because without fountain, you are very, very weak in a teamfight situation. Woof. Wow, Githian Wall straight onto Von C there. And yet again, the Blighted Bulwark doing a lot of work yet again in this game. And as uh, you said, they want to get on top of Raki Zoro or Wrecked. But it's going to be so, so tough for that to actually happen. And kind of a, not, not like a stark contrast to last game, but it's a very, very much more even early game for both of these teams already. Did it gone Storm Guard Banner on Lance Jungle? Oh. That's odd. Are they playing basically almost double captain, protect the protect the Baron? <laughs> I guess. Yeah, no damage for you, just uh, pure protect the Baron. I mean, if he goes full damage as well, um, without uh, hardly any defensive items, I mean, it kind of makes sense, but putting all your eggs in Iraqi Zora's basket, I mean, I definitely would, that is for sure. The guy is an absolute monster in lane. Yeah, on a Baron as well. Look at this, Ooh, Flash X having no joy running around the map, trying to be as... Oh, wow. Bonsi going in there, Iraqi Zoro going ready. No, nice double impale coming through for Xenotech. Bonsi's going to have to be careful. In fact, he just goes down, but Vesha Kane dives under, dives straight under the turret, picks up Iraqi Zoro. He didn't manage to pick up Wrecked, however, on an inch of HP, but really nice replay there coming through from uh, Best Chuck and A. Knew where the threats were, jumped straight under the turret, got the kill. Yeah, that's actually not bad at all for Gangstars, though. One for one at this point in the game. They'll take that every day of the week. Xenotech now. Oh, wow. Okay, this is going to be TSM Flash X being super aggressive. Trying to clear out as many scout traps as possible. But as long as Wrecked keeps placing them, as long as, long as Wrecked keeps vision up across the map, you've got to keep tabs on Flicker. And if you can keep tabs on a Flicker, that's where Flicker starts to sort of wane in terms of its usefulness. We'll walk straight over Wrecked Oof. again. These scout traps are going to spot out Flash X once more. Oh, and Wrecked doing exactly what you do with a contraption, which is just literally spam scout traps all over the map 24-7. <laughs> The map will have chicken box by the end of it. You thought it might be eradicated, but nope. It's back. Oh dear. Flash it. <laughs> Every time he goes into a bush. Do, do, do. Yeah, but I mean, it, obviously there was a cooldown for, for contraptions. So Very true. If you, if you can clear scout traps quicker than Rex can lay them, then you'll manage to keep on top of your sort of strengths as being a flicker. And actually, you're actually forcing Wrecked back here, which is allowing them to take this first structure of the game. TSM, oh my goodness. already off to a blind to start. Wow. TSM, yeah, really coming into their element here. Oh, and, the uh, Zoro Ion Cannoned himself. It, oh, I didn't even see that. Wow. Eight second cooldown, not something you want to blow. And these, they are just going to just make sure TSM are kept at bay. However, Von C says not today. He goes in with the Omni Cabinet Frenzy. It doesn't land, though. Does it get blocked? But best Chuck and Ace in the back line. Xenotech's taking a lot of damage. Flash is now in a 1v3 situation. One more auto will do it. Xenotech does steal it away from Iraqi Zoro's rocket. But that does mean they trade one for zero here with Flash X being down. They really could just push on this turret. Hey, they won that without a fountain as well. The double dragon heart coming out from Wrecked means they actually have a really decent level of healing coming out from the Lyra already. Maybe not even needing the fountain for that fight because all the healing came from the Imperial Sigil. And they somehow come out on top. Brilliant um, reflex block by Iraqi Zoro to stop Von C's engage potential there. And Gangstar is looking pretty solid in this game. They are indeed. Uh, I want to, I really want to see 
Iraqi Zoro actually get to the kind of late game because it's going to be the point and where well, they're, they're funneling all the farm have on to him. jump in. Yeah, Look at well, this. exactly. They're, give, they're giving him all the farm because Xenotech is basically playing second captain. <laughs> they're literally, yeah, they just clumped all the jungle creeps up and then let him just AOE them down. All right, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, you, why wouldn't you want to do that? Look at that. Just the differential in uh, in the CS between these uh, between everybody is absolutely insane as well. Well, actually, TSM are on the upper hand of it, right? Because they've got a CS difference. That's of true. And actually, best Chuck and A is it ahead of Iraqi Zoro. So realistically, they're trying to keep Iraqi Zoro on level pegging with uh, best Chuck and A. But this is kind of a very Druid esque gameplay style. You know, Phoenix Armada did this for Worlds. Basically, gave all of the farm to Druid. Druid hit item spikes way quicker than everybody else and just carried very quickly. Flash X again, foiled by a scout trap. <laughs> Rex just foiled. spamming them all over the map. Oh man, it's gonna look like chicken pox in a minute, I'm gonna tell you that. But Flash X, he's gonna have to get the jump, I think, on Araki Zoro. Same with Von C. I mean, if he lands a full yummy, yummy catnip frenzy onto Araki Zoro, I can imagine that he's just gonna get instant deleted across the map, um, off the map, and maybe that's the, gonna be something they're gonna have to do. But are they gonna pick up? Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe a double crucible here on the side of Gangstars just to make sure that doesn't happen. I, maybe. I mean, I definitely think someone needs a fountain. Like, Rex has still <laughs> not picked up a fountain. It. He's gone for um, Crucible second item. I definitely would like to see somebody get a fountain. Uh, you know, you can't overstate how useful that item is in, in almost every situation. But for the most part, they are just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting to get to that late game for the Baron. And that's completely fine. That's the way you want to play this. And if not having a fountain means you, you, you're just basically laying scout traps and not fighting, I think Gangstars are going to be very happy with that. Yeah, most definitely. And we've actually seen how Gangstars can play the map as well. So it definitely could work to their advantage. Their, their control over the waves, the minion waves, is very, very good. But it doesn't look like they actually want a bit of this one. Githy and Wall, two people. Von C is going to have to back off here. Flash X in a lot of trouble. Oil kind of comes down. It does end up missing, unfortunately. But best Chuck and A is going to be able to escape as well. Ultimate pop from the flicker. Everybody turns invisible and they all run away, but really fantastic re-engage there from Gangstars and this is exactly what they seem to need to do. Well, actually, Wrecked is just basically stopping anything that TSM want to do right in their tracks. TSM with the Koshka can't get past that Bright Bulwark once the engage gets foiled, as long as Iraqi Zoro is hitting his reflex block. So yeah, TSM are basically they're sat there doing nothing. They get a turret for their toils. They, they do get a ton of Yami Candy Friends. He just foiled once again. Best Chuck and he's following up with the damage. He ends up picking up one kill, and that's the main damage dealer. Remember, it's pretty much two supports on the side of Gangstars. Red is gonna go down as well after they just turret dive him. Xenotech, last member alive. Will he be able to survive? TSM are just diving between two turrets at this point. They need the kill. They want it so badly. They get the ace, though. And this is what ex this is exactly what they needed. Best Chuck NA. He's got three to zero right now. And they have this wave as well. They're going to be able to take this turret scoundrel. What can they do after this? Well, maybe not too much because the Raki Zoro is back up. But they'll be happy with just the turret on the board. I think Gangstar's got a little bit greedy for their first turret of the game. They allowed Von C to get way too much damage down onto Iraqi Zoro for free. You know, he didn't even need to worry about... Uh, the Yami Catnip Frenzy, because he'd already landed with the uh, the Twirly Death ba empowered basic attacks. So, I mean, he was perfectly happy in that situation. Uh, and again, then they chased them down. Fountain would have been so useful there, potentially could have even won them the fight, but they didn't have it. And uh, this is where you're starting to question when, as if anyone is going to pick it up, because it looks like not. Xenotex has just gone full metal jacket, as far as I'm aware. And War Treads has actually been prioritized by Wrecked over the Fountain. Yeah, I, I definitely. I'm. I, I, just gonna say it now. Would love to see a fountain on them at some point. <laughs> would that's, I think it's the third time you've had to say it. Yeah. They are gonna jump in yet again. Von C is jumping in right in the back line yet again. The only captain frontier is gonna be blocked. Iron kind of comes down. Doesn't do enough. I will mean best Chuck and has just got free reign in this fight. Iraqi Zoro just disappears off the map and Xenotech is left alone once again. Von C is gonna be able to clean this fight up. They take the Crystal Sentry as well. TSM. They are coming through in this best of three so, so strong. A pure titan on the NA scene right now, showing and proving they are the best team or one of the best teams here. No, I mean, they, they, if they win this series, they keep that solid mantle as the best team in North America. They've had that mantle for quite a number of months right now, and they're certainly proving it once again. Oh, 
Still oh, no really? priority for uh, for a fountain here, and you can't help but fountain probably would have been useful in that fight, Jaws. Hey, um, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to keep saying it because I, I I can't get over the fact. Anyway, uh, what's happening here is you know basically Flash X Von C. Everybody is is sort of barreling in with those war treads, getting Von C to the back line, getting him on top of Iraqi Zora. Even if the Yummy Catnip Frenzy gets crucibled or reflex blocked, the pure damage output from Von C right now is too much for Iraqi Zoro to go for, or to deal with rather. Because, you know, he hasn't got any shielding. He hasn't built, oh he has actually, he's now got a little bit of shielding, but he hasn't really got any substantial shielding there. And with Von C having the, uh, the broken myth, he's already got those piercing stacks stacking up. So that shielding, the way it is right now, really doesn't make that much of a difference. Now, we are at three items for Iraqi Zoro. He has now picked up his Tyrant's Monocle. We'll have to see how much of a difference that makes. Oh man, this is the kind of uh, breaking point, as you'd say, in his build. But thing is, two monocles on the side of best Chuck and A, and he's yeah. uh, doing a lot of damage, and he's cleaning up the fights along with Von C as well. It's just been an absolute showing from TSM, and I really yeah. want to see them if they can pull it off again because Araki Zoro is just nowhere to be found in these fights. I gotta say, when you put all of your eggs in one damage dealer's basket, especially against something like a Koshka who is so good at just blowing that singular target up, if they take out Iraqi Zoro, there isn't actually anything left for Gangstars to fight with. Which means it's why it just surprises me that you haven't put all of your defensive itemization in, especially even Xenotech having picked up some more defensive itemization, like a, you know, even like a, an Atlas Pauldrons, for instance. I don't know, you know, why. Maybe if Best Chuck hey, chooses to ignore them, hold it. they're coming through in stealth. Wrecked is going to have to be careful. Yummy, can't be friends. He gets blocked in again, but I'm not sure it's going to matter. They're jumping straight onto Araki Zora. He goes down once more. Xenotech's going to get rooted up as well. He's going to fall. Double kill comes through for Von C. And Lyra is nowhere to be found in the base. Just had to get back. Blinking health bars on the side of TSM as they tank up a couple of turret hits. But yet again, they come through and they just insta-gib Iraqi Zoro. And that is the end of the fight. Do you know why that is? It's because they don't give a flying poo <laughs> about the rest of the team. They're not doing any damage. Why would you care about a Lyra and a Lance with a Storm Crown? They're not going to do any damage to you. What's the point of even trying to kill them? You just run past them. And it's up to Xenotech and Rek to peel for Iraqi Zoro. But if they can't manage that, if they can't peel through the war treads engage that Flasnex is pulling out every single time, Iraqi Zoro just dies. And TSM are like, they're doing exactly the right thing. They're saying, do you know what? Why, why would we even bother respecting the Lance or the Lyra when they're not actually doing any damage and they're not actually threatening us in any way, shape or form? We're just going to run straight past them and kill Iraqi Zoro because if we kill Iraqi Zoro, we win the game. It, every time. Which is why it's just so funny to me that we haven't seen anything like a fountain, which could, I know it might not, but it could potentially keep your Baron alive. Given please, that Baron is the please. only target <laughs> that matters. Please, someone buy a fountain really quickly because I'm, I'm kind of scared. I'm probably going to have an your health. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's my issue. I mean, this is uh, not looking good for Gangstars. That's the thing. And not looking good for you either. Big Scoundrel has an aneurysm because Wrecked or Xenotech does not have a uh, a fountain by the end of this game. I'm going to have to find a new caster, unfortunately, because he might die. So, so I guess feels bad one, one of the redeeming factors for Gangstars is if they get to a four item, oh, Aaron, which they might not do. I'm gonna, well, they might not do, because this could be the end of the fight. Vonnie's going to jump in there. Xenotech's getting destroyed. But finally, Iraqi Zero is in this forward, this oh, position. Oh, look at the damage! However, the Ion Cannon comes through. Best Chuck and A's going really low, but Koshka, she doesn't really care. She jumps around the back line. Iraqi Zoro versus three. He's normally the first one to die. Now he's the last. Von C comes up big on the Koshka. Comes up big for TSM. TSM going to take this best. Best of three, two, zero. They don't need a game three, scoundrel. They're just going to take the crystal and walk home with it. We might have had shakeups with Europe's rosters. We might have had shakeups in the top dogs in that.